nothing but a guys uh, back to do a lesson for uh, Jimi Hendrix's Hound Dog um, well it's actually an Elvis song <laughs> but uh, Jimmy well the only known version that uh, well the only one that I know about is uh, there's a video on YouTube where it looks like he's um, at a party and he's playing an acoustic and um, can't really see what he's doing on the guitar because it's too dark like in the video but it's in standard tuning and uh it's just like um pretty simple blues blues song um when, once he starts singing it's just gonna be like e. doing too much uh, riffing on the A part. Then he's going to go to a D. And uh, you can either play it this way and with your second finger come over to the third of the A. And bend that and play an A. Or you could do, you know, like a D to C to A, and then back into the E. So for that little, that little run that he's doing on the E, um, actually I just did it incorrectly just then, but it's going to be, you're going to go from the 3, 4 on the low E, 2nd to 5 on the A, and bend the 5th fret slightly. So. Sometimes he bends at the fifth of the low E. He's going back and forth between that and the, sometimes he'll just bar his um, pinky at the third of the B in high E. You know, you're going to do the A change. One thing that he does on the A that I kind of heard, uh, you're going to do like a quick um, bar like at the fifth fret and lift up, lift to the open strings and then him run at the A. Heard something like that going on back into the E. Okay, so a big part of this is uh, the jam, all the jamming he's doing in the beginning. So let me show you a couple of those uh, licks that he does there. Uh, the very beginning, you're going to start with hammering on at the second of the D. So this is a little lick that he does. Um, you're going to go from the low E to the D and then bend the third fret of the low E, hit the D string again. So he's going to be going from this lick to There's also another little little run that he does. Um, sometimes he'll slide that E uh, E seven down to the fourth and back. And another thing that. 
that he does, he only does it one time quickly, but he'll go from this uh, E seventh. with the B in the high E strings open. I, I heard him do that once, very clearly. Um, so that's what he's doing in the beginning. Um, it's a little tricky to play on the guitar because the, the tempo switches when he starts singing, then you're going to be going into... But anyway, I just wanted to go over, you know, a couple of, couple of the changes in that and uh, give you some things to get you started, try to learn it. Okay, um, have a good one.